I'm Alex Grieve, better known as IB Crazy. And I'm Mark Ashton, M. Ashton1138. And we're here to test a theory. The theory is that two pilots can fly on the same band with minimal interference if they're using a right hand and a left hand polarized antenna. So one pilot would use right hand circular, the other pilot would use left hand circular, and the belief is, is this would give adequate rejection to allow them both to fly on the same band. So that means no more interference for pilots that both want to share one three or both want to share the five eight band. So I'm hoping this is a success, but um, it's not all perfect. Uh, Mark, what are your concerns? Well, one of the first concerns I have is with CP, you know everything is gonna reverse polarity. It's gonna reverse as it bounces off objects. So your environment. Um, well, what if we, what about the flat plane to Kansas? Nah, you can't get rid of the ground. I mean, it's uh, always yes. there. You're gonna have that ground reflection. Uh, and uh, mineral content of this parking lot and that gravel is definitely gonna push it's that gonna, to the it's test. It's gonna be hot, yeah. Okay. Um, my concern is, as much as it is reflections, is axial ratio. You see, we kind of never really put a, uh, a, a good label on this, but the truth is, is there is no such thing as a purely right hand or a purely left hand antenna. The truth is, is whether it's right hand or left hand dominant. You see, though this antenna is right hand circularly polarized, it does exert some left hand circular signal. It just exerts a lot more in the right hand than it does in the left. And what I'm hoping is that with a high enough axial ratio, that is the ratio of right hand to left hand, or left hand to right hand, that it will be enough to cause adequate separation within the band. So, we're gonna go at this with the scientific method of problem solving. I have not tested this. <laughs> Mark has not tested this. And we've got two new antennas we've de been developing for about six months. I've got the Cyclone here. I've got the Airblade. And, uh, We'll see, see how they pull through on this test. We'll also test our uh, blue beam whips and our ultras, and hopefully these will do a little better, but uh, I don't know. Only one way to find out. Let's see. All right, guys, while Alex is over here monkeying with the plane, I'm gonna fill you in on the procedures we're gonna use for the test. The way we're gonna do this is Alex is gonna fly his plane, his Spectre V3. He's gonna fly on 1280. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our ready-to-fly FPV kit. I'm gonna set it to 1258. While he's out flying on 1280, I'm gonna power up 1258, and we're gonna see what we get with a baseline, taking a set of blue beam whips, just a skew planer wheel on the ground station, and clover leaves on the two transmitters, and see if I can knock Alex out, and how far away, really, before we have problems. All right, here we go. All right, get ready to power up. All right, power her up. Uh, I'm gone. But really? I, I got some now. I actually had to switch the line of sight. Are you still on? I'm on. Power it up now. I, I I can't see Jack. Let me fly a line of sight and bring it back and see where mine will actually overtake it. And I took the video out totally. Yeah, right there. All right, we got a baseline. Let's uh, let's land and try left hand. All right, guys. So we saw the baseline, and that was kind of eh. Kind of. That, okay, that was really bad. Let's be real. So what we're gonna do now is we've got left hand CP air blades on the airplane and on the ground station. We're gonna fly a similar pattern, hopefully the same, depending on how good Alex is at piloting. Eh. <laughs> but on my station, what I'm going to do for the test rig is I now have a right-hand CP Cyclone antenna. So these are the latest and greatest antennas we've been working on. We'll see how that is. That should be the absolute best you can get, best possible case scenario. So let's get it in the air and see how it does. Hey. All systems go. Power up. And we're on. 
I got nothing. You sure? Check. It's absolutely on. No. Um. Okay, I'm getting interference now. I can still see. Um. Okay, that's probably the borderline unpliable. Okay. That was. I'm in all the way down to the intersection. Um. Wow. Holy smokes. Not quite. Let's try to power it up again. Here I come. Let's power it up again and verify. That was... That was amazing. I'm old, by the way. Okay, I see now. I got the blip when you first powered up. Ah, uh, getting ghosting, but still good. Keep it on. Are you still on? Yep, just past the intersection. Turn it off. Yep. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> yeah, so you're telling me that you just went a quarter mile on in the same band with these two antennas. Yep. Impressive. <laughs> I can't wait to try right in. Let's do it. All right, so. Uh, we have confirmed that uh, changing polarizations uh, between channels definitely gives you more separation. I mean, I oh, had yeah. to be, I mean, I had to be right on top of that thing to knock you out and actually get my video to take over. And then, but when we switched polarizations, I got all the way out to the roadway. I mean, granted, it wasn't clear, but I could see. Yeah. So, um, definitely gives adequate channel separation. So, uh, now, it now begs the question. Will this work with all of our antenna sets? So again, I'm back to the Airblade antenna, left-hand circularly polarized on transmit and receive. And as you can see, Mark right now has a skew planer wheel. We're gonna try the skew planer wheel, then the air screw, and then we're gonna try the mad mushroom. So we're gonna see uh, how much the axial ratio of these antennas is going to interfere with the video transmission of this airplane. So uh, give me another toss. I don't have enough hands. Clear. All right, power up. Come on. Yeah, it's, I can still see. See if I can make it to that roadway. I uh, might make it. Yeah, I made it to the roadway. Power down. I'm out. All right, change to the air screw all right power up better than the skew wheel for sure i'm to the roadway and get a little interference keep keep it up keep it up and power down air screw is definitely better Definitely better. All right, you got the uh, Mad Mushroom ready? All right. Yeah, I, it, the, the air screw definitely was better. Definitely. All right, power up. And this is a Mad Mushroom. Interference, in and out. Interference is in and out, but we're okay. We're still going. And, oh, we still got it. I still got it. Not much, but I still got it. Okay, power down, power down. Holy smokes, I'm into the other end of the field. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Bad Mushroom won that one. Okay, I power her up. Can't see anything yet. Are you sure? Ah, uh, I have. I'm seeing nothing. I'm at the tree line. Okay, now I'm getting interference. 
Keep holding, holding, holding. I'm gonna push this one. Cause I can still see the fly. All right, power down. Oh yeah, I definitely made it further. <laughs> All right guys, so after quite a few successful tests, what we're going to do is we're going to do one more time with cyclones on the ground station and the airplane. And I'm going to have an air blade on my test rig. And then while he's in flight, I'm going to switch from the air blade to a mad mushroom and just see one more time on that test, see how that does with a higher axial ratio antenna. All right, power up. Much better this time around. And I'm out. Power down. All right, I'm going to bring it back. I'll tell you when to go to uh, the Mad Mushroom. All right, now uh, right hand, right hand interfering. Go for it, power it up. Come on. Yeah, and I can't see Jack. <laughs> keep All going. Right. I, I'm gonna keep powering up with line of sight again. I know better than the FPV this stuff. Okay. I'm plugged in wrong. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go for a little bit of, yeah, power it off, I can't see. <laughs> All right, so uh, I would call that a very, very successful test. I Surprisingly mean, successful. I didn't think it was gonna go that well. I mean, that that's actually showing you the uh, the benefits of axial ratio. Yeah. Obviously, um, with the skew planer wheel interfering, um, the air blade didn't make it out nearly as far as it did with the air screw. And the Mad Mushroom, I made it like all the way to the tree line. Um, almost, not quite. And then when we went with this, I did make it all the way to the tree line. Yeah. But um, when we switched, when I was running the uh, cyclone and the air blade was interfering, I, I couldn't make it quite as far. Yeah. Um, and I'm thinking that's due to the gain. See, you see, the cyclone I'm developing as a multi-copter antenna designed to drop behind objects uh, and such, and its gain is actually minus 0.2. It's actually almost perfectly isotropic. It actually has a bit of a uh, hourglass shape. So there's no null on the top or the bottom, where the gain of this is about 1.6 to 1.7. So when we've got this on both ends, what do we have? How much, how much gain advantage does the left hand to left hand have? Over the, the cyclone. The cyclone is like three. About three, three and a half dB. So I would recommend if you're gonna run a, a left hand and right hand together, just run to a Mad Mushroom, like a Blue Beam Ultra set, and an Air Blade set, rather than run the Cyclones. You have a little bit more separation because the person, the Cyclones, going to get stepped on a little bit harder. Yeah. But overall, I think we proved it works. Oh, absolutely! And there's been pilots out there that have been doing it. They said it works, but you know, here it is on camera. You can actually see it does work. It'll provide the separation you need. And we did. We repeated it. We made sure it was right. repeatable. So it works. That's a success. Absolutely. So you know what that means. It means I'm going left hand <laughs> so that I can fly with you guys. Okay. <laughs> and that means we got to get to manufacturing this. Yeah, yeah. I think we're ready. December? Let's try to get it by Thanksgiving. So You're killing me. I know, but right. that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Ivy Crazy. Keep your wings in the sky.